So today we've been given the news about the next vehicle event, which is the Operation Overlord vehicle event. And the main prize of that event is going to be the Churchill AVRE, which is going to be coming to War Thunder as a rank 2 vehicle. So this is going to be a premium heavy tank for the British tech tree, and obviously the main prize of the event. So basically the Churchill AVRE is a modified Churchill tank fitted with a 230mm spigot mortar. Basically this is more for, you know, use against heavily fortified areas. And so it fires a rather short ranged projectile. I believe it's like less than 100 meters range, but it is a very powerful one. So the projectile itself weighs 18 kilograms. I can't remember off the top of my head how much explosive content is in that projectile, but I've got the figure of 11 kilograms in my head. Obviously, we'll find out for sure when the vehicle is introduced to the game. And to unlock the vehicle, you need to complete six stages in the event. So the event starts on June the 5th, 11 o'clock GMT and lasts until June the 17th, 11 o'clock GMT. And you've got two days to do each stage. So the first stage will start on June the 5th and then it will reset on June the 7th, June the 9th, 11th, 13th and 15th, etc, etc. And to complete each stage, you need to get 35,000 mission points which I do think is a little bit too high. It kind of made sense with the higher tier vehicles, but for a rank two vehicle, I think that's a little bit too high for my liking. And you'll need to use rank three or above ground vehicles, unless it's a event vehicle, in which case you can use rank one or two event vehicles to complete each stage, but you'll get far less rewards than using higher tier vehicles. Generally, you get more points if you use higher tier vehicles and play realistic or simulator battles. And for completing the first stage, you'll get a trophy with a random reward. For doing two stages, you'll get one of two decal rewards, the emblem of the fifth core decal or the emblem of the first special service brigade decal. Three stages, you'll get another trophy with a random reward. Stage four, you'll get the other of the decal that you didn't unlock previously. Stage five, you'll get the flying dustbin decoration. And at stage six, you will get a non-tradable coupon for the Churchill AVRE. You can upgrade this to a tradable one, but you'll need to unlock 500,000 mission points which is a ridiculous amount of mission points to unlock. And like I say, it's, it's just way too many, I think, especially for a lower ranking vehicle. But if you do manage to get that many mission points, you can upgrade your coupon to a tradable one and you can trade it on the Gaijin market. And you can do that until 11 o'clock GMT on June the 20th. So it's good to see the Churchill AVRE coming to War Thunder. I'm not sure how useful it's going to be because, like I say, the projectile is pretty short ranged and I'm guessing it's going to have a fairly long reload time, probably artificially reduced like with the Sturm Tiger, but still long enough. And so this is really going to excel in urban combat and really close range engagements, but in open fields, it's just not going to be very good, I don't think. And especially if, if there's more than one enemy, like I say, it's going to have a long reload. So if you take out one enemy, the other will just destroy you pretty easily. No, maybe your armor will protect you decently enough in rank two. So again, we'll just have to see how it plays when it's unlocked in game. Uh, probably won't be going for it myself, though. I'm uh, just not going to have the time, frankly. But good luck to you, those of you who do want to go for it. And hopefully you have fun unlocking it and uh, using it. Anyway, just a quick video looking at the Operation Overlord vehicle event. Hopefully you'll join me for the next one. I've been Toreno and I'll see you next time.